Michelle Rodriguez has finally addressed the question of her sexuality. A lot of people have been spreading rumors about her being a lesbian, but now she's saying, no, I'm not really a lesbian, but I do play both sides. She said the hmm. following, I don't talk about what I do with my vagina, and they're all intrigued. Which is actually true. This conversation, I feel like, comes up at least once a year. And she did give that interview to uh, Entertainment Weekly. So let's pause there for a second. That's part of the reason I wanted to cover the story. Isn't it amazing that if you're a celebrity, you must talk about your sex life? If you don't talk about your sex life, people will ask you over and over again. Who do you sleep with? Is it guys? Is it girls? Is it dildos? Who do you sleep with? What do you do with your private parts? Mm -hmm. And she's like, why do you have to keep asking me? Well, it's the same thing with Cory Booker, Go, moving on to the political world. So right. Cory Booker, you don't see him talking about you know, his love life much. And then there were some rumors about him being gay as a result of that. He's not married. Right. And it's, I just, I don't care. I honestly don't care. I, and Mich Michelle Rodriguez's sexuality is the last thing I would ever think about, honestly. <laughs> M Michelle Rodriguez well, is the last person I would ever think about. Well, you know, to be fair, now that she says she's bi, I have put some thought behind it, but... Oh, uh, well, ding, 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 <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> okay, but Cory Booker at least is a politician and could affect policy. Michelle Rodriguez is not going to affect anything whether she's sleeping with a guy or girl. But, but I like her thing, quotes about That's the thing about celebrities. I was uh, just listening to a Howard Stern interview. He was interviewing... Um, I forget the name of the celebrity he was talking to, but it was a man. And he kept drilling him on who he's dating, how long has he been dating her, do you love her, whatever. And, and the reason why he didn't want to share too much information about the girl he was dating was because people who are fans of certain celebrities want to live that freaking fantasy because they're pathetic, right? They want to feel like there's a chance, there's a chance that they're going to end up with that person. So like, I'll joke around about Leonardo DiCaprio or Bradley Cooper and like, oh, they're so hot, I hate Bar Raffaele or whatever. It's a joke, right? But most people, they genuinely get hurt when they find out that the celebrity of their choice is in a serious relationship with someone. Okay, well, if you're at that level, yes, then you've got issues with reality. Yeah. Okay. If you just like a celebrity, of course, we all like our different celebrities, right? Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. I get that. That's part of human nature. But if you think you're actually going to go out with them, there's something wrong with you. Okay. Yeah, it's a little weird. All right. Well, continuing, um, she also told Entertainment Weekly, I've never walked the carpet with anyone, so they wonder, what does she do with her vagina? <laughs> I love the way she talks, by the way. It's hilarious. Know, it's cool. Plus, I play a butchy girl all the time, so they assume I'm a lesbo. She's hilarious. Okay. I I've never liked Michelle Rodriguez more. <laughs> She continues, um, eh, they're not too far off. I've gone both ways. I do as I please. I am too fucking curious to sit here and not try when I can. Men are intriguing, so are chicks. I agree. Uh, but chicks are uh, I intriguing. Do you agree with the whole statement? I mean, look, men are intriguing in different ways, but not in those ways. Shank, <laughs> are you somewhere on that spectrum? <laughs> uh, so anyway, ne next topic. <laughs> we shouldn't be talking about celebrity sex life, okay? <laughs> Don't ask me what I do with my penis. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so look, I like the simplicity of her saying, yeah, okay, I, I tried girls, I tried guys. Yeah. So what? In the, in the past, though, she denied that she was interested in women. She said um, on a red carpet uh, in, during 2011, she said, I'm not a lesbian, yeah, Michi, like sausage. Now, she's actually not lying there, because she's not a lesbian, she's a bisexual. Uh, yeah. Or as uh, part of the reason we did the story, she's the fast and the bi-curious. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so she and she does like the sausage. Right. So and look, it, at a there was a time when it was harder for people to come out. And over the last couple of years, I mean people are coming out in droves, celebrities are. Yeah. So honestly, she might have been playing with words there in the beginning and now she just feels more comfortable saying, Yeah, I'm bisexual, that's it. Deal Recently with it. Raven Simone came out and she got a little bit of pushback as a result of that. But people are just very casually coming out on Twitter. So the way Raven Simone did it was she tweeted something like, yay, turns out that I can get married in California now. Mm. Right? So yeah. that was her very casual way of doing it and I kind of liked it. And remember Anderson Cooper did something similar where he just like blurted it out right. and it wasn't really, he didn't make a big deal out of it. And I like that. And I like that celebrities are becoming more comfortable coming out because it normalizes things. It should be normalized because it's a natural thing that occurs among some human beings.